Hello people, hello friends, welcome to another exciting episode in our corridor design series. In this video, I'll be showing you how I created this nice hair sales, 48 hours discount sales flyer in corridor. If you've not gotten your corridor template like you've seen on your screen, kindly do so by using the link in the description of the video. You can also get this vector banners inside the package also. The smart designer asset is also available if you've not gotten yours so that you can have access to the 3D text, the PNG images, and uh, background effects. If you've not subscribed, lastly, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of the videos I'll drop in after this time around. Right? Without having to say much, let's get started. So the first thing I like to do is go to File, and I'll click on New like this. It's going to bring up the dialog box, which is like this. It might be different from yours. This is the Color Draw 2024, right? So I'm just going to set five by five. I'm going to put in a name. If you need a color draw, click the description of this video to get the link to download yours. So I'm going to be using a five by five. Double click on the rectangle to get a replica like this. Click on the white color and um, click here and click on none to select none as color. So click on none like this. As you can see, if I drag this out, you can see I filled it with a white color. Make sure you do this first. So having done that, the next thing I want to do is very, very simple. I would um, go over to my um, resource file and I'm just going to drag this inside like this and uh, I'm going to bring it inside here like this, right? So this is the background. Again, to get the resource file for this video is in the description of this same video. So just make sure you visit the description of this video. It's very important. Right, so select the transparency tool while selecting the background, and I'm just going to draw from white to black like this. And um, yeah, that's about that. I'm just going to increase this like this, and um, this is what I have like this. So I'm going to bring it outside like this, and um, I'm going to click on power clip inside, select the rectangle, click on edit, and uh, click the background that you brought in, and I'm just going to move it in place like this. I might still edit this later, right? When you're done, double click outside or click finish to finish this process, right? So the next thing I'm going to do is um, also very, very simple. Um, I'm going to go over to my resource file. I'm going to bring in these images. So I'm going to select all of them all at once and drag and drop everything inside of Color Draw. Easy. So we can move things faster, right? So I'm going to make this small. Um, click the edge, hold down shift, make it small. Click this, press Ctrl arrow to repeat the same process. Right. And uh, move it like this, move it to the side. Move it to the side, just make it smaller, whichever way you choose to do that. And um, I'm going to start with this. I'm going to position it on this side here. I'm just going to make sure it's, make sure you are always resizing from the edge, not from the side, please. Okay, so let me move this out of the way. I'm still working on this image like this. So I'm just going to move it to the side like this. And I'm going to use my transparency to fade this so that it doesn't have sharp edges. So with these edges, I'm going to go to my crop tool. I'm going to select only the areas that I want to make visible. Everything inside of the page. And click enter. As you can see, it has cropped out all those parts that are outside of the page. We don't want anything outside of the page. So um, I'm going to do the same thing too with these images to select the crop, only highlight the areas you want to see, and we are done. Click enter. Simple, easy peasy. So I'm going to make this smaller. You can see I'm resizing from the edge like this, holding down the shift key, and. Um, Make sure you're resizing from the edge. Very important. I'm going to crop this too. Select your crop tool. And I'm just going to draw on this like this. And click enter. Boom. That's you got it. I'm just going to make this also smaller. Smaller too. Smaller too. Different kinds of um different types of uh, hairstyles, right? For this promo. So I'm just going to resize this, make this smaller. And um, I'm going to space this out. I'll just use the crop tool to crop it again. It's only areas that I don't want to be outside of the page. I'm just going to crop it like this and we're good to go. 
right great so the next thing i want to do is um effects adjust and auto adjust to adjust the image you can see it made it brighter right so that's all i'm going to do with this image right i'm not going to do anything else with the image so let's move on now shall we so click on finish um let me edit this image inside click on finish yes so this is where i exactly where i want it to be so let me go back to my resource file and bring in my text i already took our time to type this out so that we don't spend the whole day trying to design this flyer inside of curl right so bring this in and i'm just going to position this well to um arrange this well bring it the fonts that i use for this design is inside the smart designer premium asset so you can get yours and um, use it to practice along with me right and use it to practice along with me so i'm going to ungroup all of this and i'm going to just make adjustments to all of this i'm like the spacing between make this smaller um, use my shape tool to adjust the spacing between like this and um, yeah that's just about it select everything like this ctrl g to group them and bring this outside so um i'm working on this i'm going to change the color first select this color here and this is what i'm going to use for this so apply the same color here and that's all right so i'm just going to draw a shape here so it's using the rectangle tool and um click on this right this is a rectangle and um, what i'm going to do is make a duplicate copy of this take this inside and um, make it smaller and take this outside like this click on none for the outline i don't want any outline for this select the inner one which is this one click on g on your keyboard and drag and drag like this so it's going from purple to white click on the white and select this color here like this so this is what you have and um, come to this when this pops up all right so i can now safely um let me make this smaller it doesn't have to be big like this and um yeah so i'm just gonna i'm just gonna manually use my arrow key to shift this in place like this and um that should be all highlight all of this give it a color white and this is where it's supposed to be that's why i created this right so it's something that would draw the the um your client's attention or the buyer's attention right so when they see that it's 30 percent discount that's why while you are designing make sure your your information is key right it's it's try to use good images and everything but make sure you guide the the buyer's attention with your flyer of course the areas are important is what you should highlight right so the 30 percent and the 48 hours is very important that's why you see that it's created that way right so i'm just going to copy right drag this effect copy fill here remove the outline make the quick copy of this and um ctrl c ctrl v bring this down here ctrl c ctrl v and um drag this down here like this so you have one two three right so um give it another color like this one two three i'm going to change this to a bolder font i'm still going to use galano grotesque but i'm going to make it bold right so this is bold yeah so this is exactly what i want so for the hours discount here 30 percent discount no here right so when you look at it that's what you're going to see first then you can see every other details that's coming down like the by the human hair and all of those things right so i'm going to duplicate that rectangle i'm going to put it here like this i'm going to extend it here i'm just going to drag this down here like this not too close to the bottom yes Take this up a bit like this and yeah you're good to go select this image shift page up make sure it's on top of it 
But before then, yes, shift page up to yeah, make sure the images are on top of it. Okay, so um I'm just gonna tweak this um, shape a little bit, select it, go over to your pen tool, and I'm going to draw a line. I'm gonna follow the direction of the hand. Click here and also click here like this. Double click to end it, right? So when you do this, next thing you want to do is go over, select your smart fill, click and click to feel to get the shape right this selected hold down shift this one selected hold down shift select this one and click on weld yes weld good so when you've done that you can now give it this color right so this is what i want to achieve so you can delete this we no longer need it right so this is what i wanted to achieve there so i'm just going to go in and bring in the details that would stay on that part Going over to my resource file and I'm just going to simply drag and drop this inside here. Again, I took our time to type this out so that we don't get to spend the whole day on this flyer, right? So you can choose to um, rewind. If there's any part you're not getting, you can choose to rewind it and um, play back and um, practice. Basically, practice the post practice and play method. That's how you learn, right? So with this, I'm going to go over to my shape tool. I'm going to extend it like this and um, boom, that's what you have. Right. So for more inquiries, that's the phone number. I don't expect you to call that number. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to make this also bold. Yes, it should be very, very visible. Because this is the this is the only way that the buyers can actually reach the seller fast, except um, um, apart from the social media handle. That's why you have the phone number. So, right. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add um, a few. Uh, let me select this, make this bigger. I extend from on top like this. I think it's fine like this. And um, yeah, make sure it's not close to the edge. Right. So this way is perfect. You can choose to reduce the size of the images based on how you want it to be. So I'm just going to create an ellipse, remove the outline. I'm going to leave it at this color. I'm going to select this, select elliptical fountain fill. I'm going to change the blend mode here to screen. Right? Nothing is going on here. But when I move this closer, you can see this is a lighting effect. So I'm not going to use this color because um, it has nothing to do with this design itself. So I'm going to use something similar. So I'm going to click this. This is the color I'm going to use. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to make a duplicate copy of this and see how nice it is here. And um, no, this is not supposed to be here. I'm going to bring this back here. Good. And I'm going to reshape it. You, can, you are free to shape it the way you want. I'm bringing this also here. Make sure it's not outside. And you can see some subtle lights and you're good to go. Your design, everything inside of Corel Draw it looks like Photoshop. It's not Photoshop. It's Corel Draw. Yeah. So um, you can also have something like this here, but I'm not going to. I'm going to make this smaller. I'm going to take it to the top here like this. It should be on top of this 30% discount. And um, this is one of the things I use. I design my flyers in Corel Draw, and it looks as if it's designed in Photoshop. So. Little things like this can make a huge difference in your designing, right? So I'm just going to do all of this and... Right? So if you've um, gained something from this design, make sure you give it a thumbs up. You give it a thumbs up and um, subscribe to the channel if you've not subscribed to the channel. I will see you in the next video just up above. Ciao.